Let's read with Eve, The Year of the Rat, Tales of Chinese Zodiac, written by Oliver Chin, illustrated by Mia Alkern. For nearly 5,000 years, the Chinese culture has organized time cycles of 12 years. This Eastern calendar is based upon the movement of the moon, as compared to the Western which follows the sun and is symbolized by the zodiac circle. An animal that has unique qualities represents each year. Therefore, if you are born in a particular year, then you share the personality of that animal. Now people worldwide celebrate the two week long festival in early spring and enjoy the start of another Chinese New Year. To my father Henry and my sister Brenda, OC, to Amy and Becky for all your love and encouragement. J.A. As the sun peeks over the horizon, Mama and Papa Rat cuddle, their newest baby, while his older brothers and sisters scampered about. Little Ralph opened his eyes and let out a squeak. <coughs> Papa scratched his chin. This pup has spunk. Mama smiled. I'm sure the landlord's son will take a liking to you. Sure enough, Bing heard the news and came to visit them in the attic. In his hand, being offered a piece of cheese. Ralph cautiously climbed aboard for a nibble and then a warm pet. Soon after, Ralph was running up Bing's arm, through his sleeve, and across his shirt. <laughs> Bing was tickled pink. Let's explore. Nestling in, Ralph asked his parents, Can I go outside, please? Mama replied, Okay, but remember to watch your step and mind your manners. At the stables, Bing helped pitch the hay. Ralph greeted the horse. Hello there. But they snorted. We can't bother with small fries. Taken aback, he darted and dodged their heavy hoofs. At the pens, Bing fed the pigs and the sheep. Ralph waved. Good day. But they grunted. Don't even think about tasting our food. Surprised by their behavior, he tries his best to stay out of their way. Walking about the village, Bing gives his new pal some advice. It's good to be friendly, but sometimes you need to mind your own business. Ralph nodded shyly and fiddled with his tail. That evening, Mama asked, How was your trip, dear? Ralph answered, I wish it was easier to get along out there. Papa replied, Just keep your feet on the ground and your nose out of trouble. Later, everyone settled down for the night, but Ralph was still hungry and couldn't sleep. He sniffed a tasty smell. Curiously, he followed the trail down to Bing's kitchen. Wah, what's this? Bing's father turned on the light and saw Ralph sitting in a pile of cheese. Son, come fetch your pet, frowned his dad. And the embarrassed boy carried Ralph back to his bed. At home, Mama Rat liked gathering odds and ends. She explained, if no one is using it, I might need it someday. Watching her pack up her stuff, Ralph decided, I'll pack up my own collection. But one day Bing's mother cried, Who took my earrings? After searching everywhere, Bing found who had borrowed the shiny pearls. Nibbling at his fingernails, Ralph bashfully returned them. <coughs> Meanwhile, Papa Rat liked to chew on anything handy. Gnawing on old rope, he said, Old habits are hard to break. Ralph had inherited his father's teeth and guessed, I bet mine are sharp too. The following day, the dog lost his leash. Next, the bucket dropped into the well, and Bing's kite wouldn't fly. He discovered the reason why, and poor Ralph promised, I will keep my mouth to myself. But Bing's parents had had enough. Their son's birthday party was tomorrow, and they didn't want any more problems from that little rat. They told the disappointed Bing to bring Ralph to the barn. <gasps> Putting Ralph in the rabbit cage, Bing whispered, If you're good and stay here, you can go home tomorrow. Ralph twitched his nose sadly as Bing shut the door and waved goodbye. Outside the barn door, Ralph saw Bing's neighbors decorate the streets. He smelled cakes baking and heard people laughing. Ralph moaned, Oh, how I wish I could join the party too. Finally, Bing's birthday had come. And so did family and friends, and presents arrived along with a big bunch of balloons. They sparkled like the very color of the rainbow. 
being wanted to touch them all, but suddenly the knot came loose. Fearing the balloons would fly away, he snatched their strings. Phew, he sighed. However, the bunch kept pulling him up. When his feet could no longer touch the ground, Bing shouted, Oh, rats! Everyone turned and gasped in alarm. Quickly, they tried to grab hold of him, but he slipped through their grasp. Ralph heard Bing's cry. He looked out the window, and his friend rose slowly into the air beyond the reach of any man or beast. I'll help you, Ralph squeaked, but the cage door was locked tight. Ralph anxiously scoured the floor for anything useful. Then he rummaged through his pockets. Aha! He found a pen, reached around the bars, and jiggled the lock open. He was free. The rat bolted through the hole in the wall and scaled the ladder to the hayloft. Bing kept floating higher and higher. On the ledge, Ralph took a deep breath, closed his eyes, and jumped out. Boing, boing. Resting on top of the bouncing balloons, Ralph called down. Are you all right, Bing? The boy looked up with amazement <laughs> and grinned. Ralph, I'm glad to see you. Scratching his head, Ralph squeaked. What should I do? They had soared above the trees and now could almost touch the clouds. Bing hollered. I don't know what, but think of something. Suddenly, Ralph got an idea. He carefully squeezed between the balloons. Next, he slid down the cords to Bing's hand. Then he began biting through the string like a pair of scissors. One after another, the balloons flew away, and the pair descended slowly towards the earth. In the meantime, they had drifted far from home. Ralph decided, I think I see a place where we can safely land. Skimming the treetops, Ralph cut the tie to one more balloon. Hold on tight, he hollered as they braced for impact. Wham, bam. Luckily, they had hit a soft spot on the back of a startled ox. <laughs> Hastily, Ralph rumbled through his pockets again. He discovered a shiny earring and presented it to the weary stranger. Happily, she mooed in delight and agreed to take them home. Ooh la la! Back in the village, everyone was overjoyed at their return. Ralph sighed. I guess I'll be going back to the barn. But everyone forgave him since his ingenuity had become very handy indeed. Afterwards, Bing and Ralph continued their travels. The other animals and Bing's parents didn't mind Ralph anymore. They gladly let him scurry about and share their belongings. Mama and Papa, his brothers and sisters, were rightly proud of Ralph. This little rascal had a really big heart, and they all agreed it was an amazing year for the rat. People born in the year of the rat are ambitious, clever, and thrifty. They are nimble, optimistic, sensitive, but sometimes they can be competitive and possessive. Though they may be noisy and a little thin-skinned, rats are truly resourceful and trustworthy. 结束 The end.